the new normal of record numbers of migrants arriving to the southern border met with new legislation to try to curb the chaos. The $118 billion emergency security bill, which also includes aid to Ukraine, Israel and Taiwan, is meant to make the U.S. immigration system faster and stronger according to one of its authors. Changes the asylum laws, builds more wall, adds more detention beds, adds more deportation flights, uh, changes this 10-year backlog that we're currently in now to weeks before people are actually deported. That's what the bill really does. President Joe Biden and top Democrats also calling for swift passage of the bill. This bill says America will step up to the plate and defend itself. But the proposed sweeping changes to immigration policy may be already upended by politics. The celebrated bipartisan support in the Senate not reflected on the other side of the Capitol. Republican leaders say the bill is dead on arrival in the House. With complaints, it gives too much money to non-governmental groups who care for migrants and increases the numbers of those allowed asylum and doesn't go far enough to crack down. But some accusing them of not wanting to help the president get the border under control because it's seen as one of his greatest weaknesses in the 2024 election. Former President Trump among the most outspoken critics. Still, some Democrats say the bill is too Trump-like and makes it too difficult for many to qualify for asylum. This debate playing out here on Capitol Hill as officials in Texas have already taken over some parts of its border, with other border states struggling to keep up. Full measure Cheryl Ackeson heard about those struggles firsthand during a recent trip to Eagle Pass, Texas. To process one just individual takes me like 45 minutes, one individual. You're talking about a group of 30 or something like that. Where are you going to put them? I don't, I don't have the space in my jail and, uh, and or, nor the time. Time those pushing the new bill say is running out. I'm Christine Frizzell reporting.